All right, in the last couple of videos, um, we looked at making this mesh for the um, glazed roofing. And now we're going to look at creating a mesh for um, a curtain wall. And basically, it's the same process as using the um, sloped glazing because they're the same system. One is just vertical and one is horizontal. So what I'm going to do is pick this wall, and I'm just going to turn it into a storefront wall okay and then I'm going to host the top of it to level two and maybe we'll go in to the edit type and let's change the horizontal grid spacing to let's say four feet and click OK so that's gonna lower that guy down and give us a few more um, divisions now the storefront is basically a reference plane with curtain grids which are reference lines dividing it in a system and then the mullions are placed on those reference lines and these panels find the corners of those and offset themselves based on the mullion width so it's a fairly complex system what we're going to do is we're going to replace these panels with the perforated metal panel and then we're going to make some mullions that are actually mesh and extend out and so it looks a little bit like a um, like a hacked sort of two-dimensional maybe shelving modular system okay so we're gonna do the exact same thing we did in the last video which is we're gonna replace these panels with a new panel so the last time I did that I went through the panel and went to the material but this time I'm just gonna make a new material and then make a new panel and apply the new material to the panel so to make a new material um, you can always go to your manage tab and I'm going to go to my materials it's going to open up my material dialog box and I'm going to come down here to the bottom and go create new material and then I'm going to rename that and I'm going to call this metal perforated <clears throat> And then I'm going to come over to my Appearance tab, and I'm going to put a cutout map on that like we did last time, so checking the box next to Cutout. And I'm going to go to my personal library for this one. So I have um, a material library, and I would suggest anybody that works um, should have their own material library. If I go to my Metals, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use <coughs> this particular map which is going to make everything white solid and everything that's black is going to be transparent or we could use let's go ahead and use this one it's a little bit more perforated right it's a little bit denser so we'll use that and I'll click open and you'll see it perforates that piece so again if I set this to white right you'll see those perforations and if I left click on this image it's making that one foot by one foot which is fine with me for right now you could come in again and change the sample size down here if you'd like alright now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place an image on here and I'm gonna make it copper alright now click open and click done and so now I have a copper perforated metal piece and I can click OK and I've just created that material now what I need to do is is replace these panels with a new panel that has that material applied to it so I'm going to tab select into this panel and I'm going to unpin it and I'm going to go to edit type and I'm going to duplicate that panel because it's a system panel glazed and I don't want to overwrite that so I'll name this um, perforated metal panel and click OK and then I'll reset this I just want that to offset to be zero the thickness that's a little thick for a metal panel maybe we'll just do eighth of an inch <clears throat> and then for the material I'm just gonna go get that material that I made and so to get to the material always in Revit you just left click on the right side of the box right there and it will bring it up and I'm just gonna do a search for my perforated metal panel and I'm going to use render appearance for shading which is going to get that copper and then I'll click OK and I'll click OK so now this one is a perforated metal panel now I want the rest of these to be perforated as well so 
to do that quickly, what I can do is I can come back in here and I can pin this, which actually pins it back to the system, which the system has glazed panels on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the curtain wall system, go to edit type, duplicate it, and I'll call this storefront perforated. Click OK. And then instead of system panel glazed, I'm going to go pick the perforated metal panel and click OK. And now it's replaced all of those with a perforated metal panel. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to replace these mullions with mesh mullions so you can see how to create a new mullion and then perforate it. Um, basically what we're doing is for one of my students I'm creating a hack to make sort of a dynamic panelized wall system. All right.